and Abby fans, but it is now nearly over. Come January 5th, we can all welcome back our favorite upstairs, downstairs drama. This morning, the show's creator and seven of its stars are here with us in the studio with a sneak peek at the new season. Take a look. Matthew is dead 50 years before his time. Isn't that enough for me to deal with? Just leave me alone. Exactly what I was afraid of. She is living a nightmare, and we must all step back and allow her to come through it in her own time. Aren't I right, Mama? No. We can't discuss it, no. This mousse is delicious, Carson. Is it the work of Mrs. Patmore? And here they are now, Downton, Abby, stars and creator. I'm just going to go through the list. Laura Carmichael, Julian Fellows, Michelle Dockery, Hugh Bonneville, Phyllis Logan, Rob James Collier, Leslie Nickel, and Alan Leach. We welcome you all to Good Morning America. And Julian, I'd like to start with you because you have said that you got a lot of heat in the days after we all saw the untimely death happen. What, what was that like for you? What was your reaction? Well, it was a bit shocking, actually, because I had letters from people literally saying, I will never watch anything or anything to do with again, you know, all this stuff. Uh, and they didn't realize that in, in England, we only have three-year contracts, and when people want to leave, they leave. Right. And, and they can't just vanish. You can't send them up the chimney. You know, if they're a member of the family, I'm afraid, if they're never going to come back, it's the Grim Reaper. It's the only answer. <laughs> right, it's true. And, and on the show, you, things were looking so well for Michelle, your character, and, and Matthew. And, uh, and so I guess it would have been a little odd for them suddenly to, to start fighting or split up. Well, and also never to come back. He's got a son. He's got an estate. It just wasn't believable, I'm afraid. He had to breathe his last. <laughs> we're very sorry, but that was the way it had to be. <laughs> that is the way it had to be. And so, for, Michelle, for you, life now moves forward. Mm -hmm. What is that like for you, life without Matthew, for your character? Can you give us a glimpse into what we'll see? Well, Mary very much reverts back to uh, the kind of cold, icy oh, no. side again, <laughs> uh, inevitably, because she's, you know, because of what she's going through. Um, and it's something that I wasn't expecting and that we all weren't expecting, really. Um, uh, I was expecting marital bliss and, you know, bringing up babies. So you were, so. Surpri you were surprised by yeah. the way? Well, no, I knew, I mean, you I knew that that had to be, you know, that's the way it had to be. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, but she does, she needs to move on, and so there are new suitors. And, uh, yeah. Um, there's one or two, or three. <laughs> uh, oh, I love it. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, and she's, she's adjusting, really, and that's, that's what the fourth series is about for, for Mary. Is that's what's moving happening. On. Yeah. Okay, and Laura, your character, uh, we hear, is sort of going to come into her own in a whole new way. You play Mary's sister, yes. but um, we, I, was, I was reading that maybe it's not quite as easy as you thought it would be, the modern world. No, well, nothing's simple <laughs> or easy, but um, no, it's really fun season three, dear. She has this sort of London life going on with her editor. Are you saying, so yeah. Edith gets wild in the next season? Kind of, yeah, it's fun. It's, it's a good... A good story for her and a nice contrast with, with Mary who's grieving so Edith gets to escape Downton Abbey and, and go to London and have a sort of a different life there. Which and is build great. her own life. She's yeah. building her own life really in the, in the world of the 20s which is quite right. different to the world before the war. And those costumes, the clothing, it must be so fun. Yeah, it's great. I, mean, I had a lot of fun this year with the clothes. Hugh, I'd like to ask you, because things, you, you, you seem to be warming up to the idea of uh, you know, Matthew. Uh, you guys were doing a great job getting him to get a little more progressive in terms of saving Downton Abbey. Um, what happens now? Are you going to revert back? Well, now, now Robert is faced with uh, uh, the burden of death duties, since Matthew was the co-manager, uh, co if you like, co-owner of the estate. And so now uh, there's a big debate on how best to run the estate in the future. And that brings me up against uh, Mary's strong-willed nature. I want to protect my heir, who's now six months old at the beginning of the, of the, of the series, and, um, and also to, to allow Mary to grieve in the way that I think she should grieve, which is probably forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Who's, uh, who's char whose character is sadder, I wonder about this, because you were sort of in love with him. Um, everybody, the great Alan Leach, you do such a great job playing Branson. Um, are we going to see the sadness sort of start to lift for you? Where are you as we move forward? Yeah, as we go into season four, Branson is now a state manager, so he's got a lot of responsibility 
within the estate, but also he's the only person who really knows what Mary's gone through. So he becomes a confident and a friend to, to her oh, and tries to get confident. her to her. her, her <laughs> Julian, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not saying. If it, was, <laughs> if it was the American version, you know. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's really interesting. All right, and I want to get to the rest of you. Rob, hello. Hello. Welcome. I heard during the pre-interview you were quite fun and, and, and that you might be the wild card. A, a little bit feisty. A little yeah, feisty. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and Alan and you are dear friends, I guess, off the set. You hang out when you're not working? We do. Yeah, it's a bit of a, hard to pin him down, but yeah. There's a bit of a bromance going on. Is it? <laughs> oh, we love a good bromance here yeah. at Good Morning America, so cool. that's nice to see. And look at you two beautiful ladies. Oh. Uh, us? Yes, oh, I, I can't, <laughs> can't leave out Phyllis Logan, Mrs. Hughes. You, you're like the glue that holds it all together. I like to think so. <laughs> yes, uh, in, in some respects, yes. Certainly downstairs she tries to keep her. But, you know, Mrs. Patmore puts her oar in as well. And how about and, Mrs. Yeah. Patmore at the end of last season? Oh, Frisky. my boyfriend, I know. I loved that. I know, he only stayed for five minutes. Though. I know. But more to come, I hope? Well, I'm having a word with... They the were, boss? <laughs> they were five good minutes. They were, they were fantastic. <laughs> Julian saying, don't get two. No, I, I enjoyed it. I put, I put in a request for maybe another one, but you know. <laughs> well, we, we did get a tweet. I wanted, everybody wanted to know, how, did, how, are, how much are you missing Dan Stevens? One of our audience members wants to know. How's that been for you? Well, yeah. well, we're missing him so much, we're, we're insisting on having a drink with him tomorrow night. Yeah. Are you going to? <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah. I love hearing that. That makes us happy. We all sort of in our heads, uh, fans of Downton Abbey, I think, want to believe that. So it's so yeah. lovely to meet you all in person. Uh, upstairs or downstairs, the next big romance? Just tell us that. That's all I need to know. Maybe both. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll all have to wait to find out. What a treat it's been for me and for our viewers. Thank you so much Thank for all you. getting Thank up you. early for us <laughs> on Good Morning America. And we cannot wait to see you everybody the new season of Downton Abbey premieres January 5th on Masterpiece it's on PBS